Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Iris Budgets. In today's video, I am going to be um, showing you all some redesigns that I've made of the savings challenges that I created recently um, so that they can be shipped anywhere in the world in terms of the size of the notes and also a new, brand new design that I've just created. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is the first savings challenge that I designed. Um, it's the colourful sort of front cover um, and inside there is um, a tracker and then it's got the inserts which have um, like a, a printed design in there. So what I've done is I have changed the, um, the design of this to take off the pound sign both here on the tracker and here on the actual envelope. Um, and what I've also done is I've made these envelope, envelopes um, longer so that um, they can fit particularly a US dollar bill because I did get some um, messages from people in the US. So this placeholder here, I've also redesigned this as well. So this is available on my Etsy shop if anybody is interested. Um, this is just slightly shorter than a US dollar bill by about, I don't know, a couple of millimeters and it is slightly longer. So as you can see, if you place that in there, it fits really well. Um, so what I've done is I, I have updated my Etsy shop so that these are now available to purchase. Um, and what I've also done, because you can buy these in one, two, three and five K denominations. Um, what I've done is I've just made it one listing um, and they're all going to be the same price basically because it was just confusing me having so many. Um, and they're all with free delivery. So um, in the in the UK, um, stand by. Yeah, so sorry about that. In the UK, they're going to be £24 each with free delivery. And then everywhere else, they're going to be £32 also with free delivery. And that's just under, I think, $40 um, in the US, but that's obviously with delivery included. So that's the old design or the first original design that I created. Um, and I'm now going to show you something new that I've created. Okay guys, so this is the brand new design. It's very similar in terms of what the product does for you, but um, it is different in terms of the finish. So what I've done is I've actually created some um, a vinyl cover here. So this is, this is the 1K. So it has a front cover here, and then it has an insert with the tracker included within the binder. So this is the 1K. Again, it's got no currency. Um, symbols on either the tracker or on the envelopes and I've just really simplified the envelopes. All you have here is a laminated pouch with the number on the corner. So um, very similar, like I say, in design, but it's just clear all the way through. Um, and at the back, it's just got um, a, a back cover on in the same sort of print um, as, as the front. So that's the 1K. This one has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 laminated envelopes. And these are the denominations here for the 1K. So that's that one. Next we have a 2K and I hope you can see that the vinyl's like holographic. I absolutely love it. I'm totally obsessed. So this is the 2K, again, a front cover and then the laminated tracker. So because this is laminated, you could do this challenge, complete it, and then wipe this clean with some like alcohol gel or whatever, and it'll come clean and you can just start again. So this is the 2K, again, um, the tracker has no currency symbols on it. Um, and there are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 39 envelopes. Um, and these are the envelopes, very similar. And then you've got the back cover on there. So that is the 2K. Then this is the 3K. So again, with the front cover. And then this is the tracker. I think this is the one with the least number of envelopes. So it's got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And those are the denominations there. And again, just the same for the notes and with the back cover. So that's the 3K. And this one is the 5K, and I think this has got the most in it. So again, with the front cover, and then the tracker, it's got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 envelopes. And obviously these are much larger denominations than the, the previous binders. Um, so yeah, this has got 40 envelopes in it. And again, the same with the back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is show you what it would look like with some cash in it. 
Okay guys, so I'm just gonna demonstrate with this 2K binder. So obviously you get the amount that you want to stuff and then you take it off in the tracker. So for example, the first one here is 20 pounds. I've just basically took some money out of my um, sinking funds to demonstrate. So that's what it would look like with 20 pounds in. And then 50 pounds, obviously you can put different denominations in here, but I've got a 50 here. So that would be the 50. And then 40 pounds. So we'll do two twenties and then a hundred pounds. Let's do two fifties and then 20 pounds. Well, I haven't got no fives, but let's do two fives and a 10. And then another hundred. And then a 40, let's do one, two, three, four. And then a 50. So you get the drift. So as you stuff cash, it does get obviously more bulky, um, which is again why we've got these treasury tags on the front. But that's what it would look like if you had some cash in there. And if I can also show you, again, this is the same size as the first binder I showed you. So I've made it longer um, for other currencies. Again, this is the same placeholder that I used before. Um, this is slightly shorter than a US bill, but slightly longer in width. Um, and that fits really nicely. As you can see, there's a, little, a bit of a gap there for the length of the note. Um, so yeah, so this is what I've created. I'd love to know what you think. So this new design would be £22 in the UK um, with free delivery and everywhere else it would be £30, which I think is um, like $38 or something, $37. It is slightly cheaper than the first binder and that's just because of the materials not costing me as much in terms of paper and printing. Um, so yeah, so these are all available now on my Etsy shop. I, don't, I only have the ones in stock that I've showed you today, so any other orders I would have to make to order. So thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, so all of these are now available on my Etsy shop. If you've got any feedback on anything that you've seen today, please let me know. Um, um, I really want um, to understand what it is people need from their savings, ch savings challenges. Um, and yeah, I've created these because this is exactly what I would want um, if I was going to start one of these challenges. I can't decide which one to start soon. It's probably not going to be that one. Um, it might be the three, but it's probably more likely to be the two um, when I finish my emergency fund. So yeah, thank you so much for everyone for watching. If you've got to the end of the video, um, please like it if you've liked it and please subscribe. It means a great, great deal to me. Honestly, it's been fabulous so far. Um, and yeah, Everyone, I enjoy, hope you enjoy your weekend. I can't even get my words out. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And if you're in the UK, I hope you have a fabulous Jubilee weekend. See you in the next one, guys.